everybody, welcome back to Live Free and Tool On. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Before we get the video started, go ahead and take a trip down below the video, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell because we have a lot of great content coming up. You're not going to want to miss it. If you're returning, thanks for joining us again. We have a great subject today, and that's on the new Ryobi batteries. These batteries are great. They have great new uh, high-vis battery level on them, but there's one huge downfall, and that's this right here. They slide. One thing that they don't have on these batteries is the rubber overmolding like they did to the old batteries. Let's take a look at an old battery. This is the older style batteries. Let me show you the one big thing about it. I'm going to press it. So the rubber overmolding doesn't only protect it from sliding, it also is impact resistant as well. So if you drop it, it's not going to have as much damage on it. But here, there's absolutely no rubber overmolding on here. I like to protect my tools. I know you like to protect your tools. So I've been doing research, I've been testing things out, and I think I have the best solution for this problem. And that's this stuff right here, Plasti Dip. Now this isn't the stuff that you spray on your cars. This is what you put on the handles of tools whenever you rip the handles off like your crescent wrenches or something like that. You actually just dip it in here a few times and then you let it dry and you have a whole new grip. Now this is a Plasti Dip, it's rubberized. It's not gonna crack and you know do all that stuff. It's not gonna dry up and become you know a skating rink like this. It's actually gonna provide impact resistance and it's gonna provide it or it's going to stop it from um, you know moving as much too. So let's go ahead and jump into this. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. We're going to make this a pretty quick video and hopefully I can prove to you that you can protect your tools for seven dollars all of your brand new batteries and you don't have to worry about it. Okay so I've set up two pieces of wood because you're going to need this to stay upside down just like this and this is going to provide a really good area uh, to work on. So we need to prep this battery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and scuff the surface up just to give a little bit better adhesion for the Plasti Dip. So I'm just going to scratch the surface. It doesn't, you don't have to sand it down completely. Just scuff it up to give it something more than just a smooth surface to adhere to. You're not going to go crazy with the Plasti Dip, so don't worry about that either. We're going to put a nice even coating. You don't have to sand the entire battery here. Okay, so we have the batteries ready. So this is really... <laughs> I, just, I just poured it out by accident. Just trying to show you, it's really, it's really thick stuff. All right, so I'm gonna take just a little bitty paintbrush. You can see that. We're gonna dip it in. And then, you know, on we're just gonna paint it on. Easy stuff here. And you want, to, you want to make it pretty thick, too. So get you a nice coating on there. Make sure you're on a flat level surface. And you want an even coating, too. So make sure once you get it on, you actually spread it out. Now pay attention to these little knots right here. Make sure you, make sure you coat these because this is all part of it. Not just the sides. You've got to do the fronts, the backs, the sides everywhere. Make sure you coat all the way to the edge. Now this says that you need to let this dry or cure for four hours. So make sure that you do follow the instructions and you do follow that. You don't want it to peel. If you want to put more than one coat on here to make it thicker, wait 30 minutes and you can come back and put another coat on here. I'll check back in 30 minutes to see just how this is doing, but this is a pretty thick first coat here. Okay, so I'll call this one good. Get a closer look at that there. You see I coated it all the way around. I'm leaving the center. I don't want to paint over that. You need to have those warnings, um, but just all around here. So that should be fine. So let's do the same thing on this one. Okay, so I'm going to let this sit for 30 minutes. I'm going to come back and check it. But you can see both of them. They have a really nice thick coating on them. I'm only doing the... I'm only going to do the bottoms for now. We're going to let these cure. 
and then uh, we'll check back remember four hours to the full while we're waiting on the coating to dry on the batteries I just want to take a minute and to point out the new swag that we have this is the new Ryobi wood grain emblem I'm designing these myself and I think it came out pretty well I've got the nice American flag patch on the sidearm there it really ties everything together this live free into a line um, you know we support Ryobi and you know Ryobi provides a lot of great tools for us so if you're interested in merch this type this design we have many other designs we have stickers we have hats we have a lot of good stuff head on over to the link down in the bottom it's to our Etsy page you'll see a lot of great stuff there okay so it's been quite some time this is dry now so let's test it out so they're not moving uh, it's actually doing its job so the rubbers really holding well. Uh, this is the original batteries has a, the rubber over molding. So you can see it moves just about the same now because it's got that grip. You know when you collect dust you're gonna have to wipe it off just like anything but I can say between the two you know it's actually doing a little bit better but of course it's brand new. So I would say this is very successful. You could put more layers on here but you can actually just take a look you can't even really tell that you put the coating on it. It's leveled out. It's flattened. Uh, it looks great. And take a look at this one here. Ah, so um, you know, I think it looks good. It doesn't really stand out, which is super nice. Uh, one other thing, uh, just add more layers if you want to. But this is more for skid protection on your single thicker layer. More layers. Uh, you know, you're probably, you're never going to get it as thick as this unless you. <laughs> unless you just make it a big gob on there. Okay everybody, so that's it. Plasti Dip, $7. You can coat all of your batteries, you know, keep them from skidding. Uh, you know, you can create handles and protection out of this. You can do multiple layers. That's what this is actually for. So, I think the multiple uses out of this is awesome. Uh, remember, you need the canned stuff. Don't get the spray stuff. If you get the spray stuff, you're probably going to cause some damage and coat things you really don't want to coat on here. Uh, but now they're not skidding. So I hope that this helps somebody. This is just a quick tip and something that I really thought that would be valuable to some people out there because I know that skidding batteries are not a good thing. Uh, if it did help you, please subscribe. Don't forget to like the video and hey, we'll see you in the next one. Take care everybody.